So if your garden is not refreshed, if your life is not refreshed, if your heart is not refreshed, the north wind will bring a refreshing over you right now. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Song of Solomon chapter 4 verse 16. Song of Solomon chapter 4 verse 16. It says, Awake, north wind, and come. South wind, blow on my garden that its fragrance may be spread everywhere. Let my beloved come into his garden and taste his choice fruits. So the north wind will come, will bring a refreshing over you. It will bring a refreshing over you. And the presence of God will dwell in your building. The presence of God will dwell in your house. The glory of God will be seen in your, um, in your dwelling. In Jesus' mighty name. Ezekiel chapter 4, chapter 1, verse 4 and 5. It says, I looked and I saw a windstorm coming out of the north. Where was it coming from? Where was it coming from? I saw a windstorm coming out of the north. An immense cloud with flashing lightning and surrounded by brilliant light. Let me read the one you're reading. Okay, look, let's read one, two, three. Look, and behold, a whirlwind was coming out of the north. A great cloud with raging and engulfing itself and brightness all around it and radiating verse 5 okay 1, 2, 3 so the north wind came and with the north wind came fire and cloud and inside that cloud God came out this is Ezekiel describing what you're seeing the likeness and the presence of God so when the presence of God wanted to come to where Ezekiel was it came out of the north came out of came out of the north and came where they did, but came in the form of a wind and a storm they are here they are here Say the north wind brings God's presence. Say the north wind brings God's presence. The north wind brings God's presence. Because the north wind brings God's presence, number two, the north wind also brings promotion. The north wind will promote you. In your career, in your business, in whatever it is you're doing, there'll be promotion. They are here. They are here. The Bible says, promotion does not come from the east or the west or the south. It comes from? It doesn't say it comes from the north. It actually says it comes from above. But above is the north. You see now, you don't read your Bible. I've trapped you nicely. So the Bible equates the north to above where God is. Is this too deep? The way you're talking is like I'm saying things that don't exist. Psalm 75 verse 6 says for exaltation or promotion. Can you say promotion? Uh, can you put where it says promotion so that we are not confused? Uh -huh. We want to actually see the word promotion. For promotion cometh neither from the east nor from the west nor from the south. Verse 7. But God is the judge. He put us down one and set it up another. Can you give me the scripture? The way it says it comes from above. Tanda, tanda, talisa. There's a scripture that quotes this scripture that says promotion comes from above. Say here. God is the judge. He puts down one 
and brings up another. So God can promote somebody you don't like. God can promote you even if they don't like you. Okay. I said God can promote you even if they don't like you. Let me give you a testimony. There's a lady who came here on Saturday, yesterday actually. She came to see me yesterday with the husband. She works in a big organization, one of the biggest parastatals. Dealing with money. I don't want to mention actual names. And she'd worked there for years. She had trained people, she had done all kinds of things, but they were not promoting her. The reason they were not promoting her is because she refused to sleep with people because I'm told in that organization for you to move ahead. Either you sleep with one boss or you bribe. Or you do what? You give money. So she was not giving money and she was not giving other things as well. So because of this, nobody was promoting her. She, was, she said, I'm faithful. I'm a believer. I don't give these things. So she would train people. These people would be promoted. She would train people. These people would be pre- uh. So she came one day here. We prayed. I said, promotion is not a function of the boss. It's God who promotes. It's who? God who promotes. So we prayed. And I prophesied to her, you'll be promoted two levels up. So it took time. So one day, people did interview. She went for four interviews. So four or five. And they, they, they denied to promote. Because when they promote, they take you for interview, for evaluation. Say, so you are the top, but who would promote you? You are the top, but the ones who are down. Sometimes, even the position she's going for, they bring someone from outside. The organization takes the position. She's still there. They're here. So we prayed one day. The bosses in their meetings, they just got jittery. There was no interview. The interview time had passed. People had been promoted. Life is moving on. The bosses in their meeting, they said, and you? What's, what's wrong with you? Everybody is coming, just passing you, passing you, passing you. What's happening with you? You need to leave this department. Go to another department so that you can move up. So they called with the husband. Should we take the move? Should we move? I said, okay, you can move. We'll give you blessing. So instead of moving to another department, another boss came. The big boss now. I said, no, 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 no. I need eyes at the coast. Because that is where things come through. In this country, that's where there's a lot of stealing. So I'm going to put you a regional boss. I need somebody with integrity whom I can count on, whom I know will not be bulldozed. Anyway, so as we talk, she's on her way. Her office is like this house now. They are here. Where they, where they were supposed to move, she was supposed to have, uh, I think, 200 people under her. Now she's going to have almost 1,000 people. She's controlling. With the driver, bodyguard, air, whatever. Huh? Promotion. North wind. Say North wind. Say North wind. The same way we invoked North wind for her, I invoke North wind for you. I said I invoke North wind for you. Promotion does not come from the east, west, or the south. It comes from above. Let the above speak for you right now. In the precious name of Jesus. In the precious name of Jesus. In the precious name of Jesus. God is real. God is not a theory. God is not a theory. South wind, say south wind. South wind. wind. South wind is designed to bring provision. Provision. 
if you are waria, you say provision. Designed to bring provision. I keep listening to some waria lawyer. The provision. Proverbs. <laughs> What's happening? What's happening? What's popping? Today we are invoking the winds of God and your life is opening up like crazy in the precious name of Jesus. Psalm 78 verse 21 Psalm 78 verse 21 says he let loose the east wind from the heavens but he cancelled it and by his power he made the south wind blow. He rained meat down on them like dust. Birds like sand on the seashore. He made them come down inside their camp all around their tents. They ate till they were gorged and, given them, and he had given them what they craved. The Bible says, therefore the Lord had this and was furious. So a fire was kindled. Ah, uh, no, that's not. Maybe I got the wrong psalm. Look where it said, he said, let loose the east wind from the heavens and by his power made the south wind blow. He rained down meat um, on them like the dust. Birds like the sand of the seashore. So God released two winds upon the children of Israel. They, were, they said they were tired of manna. They wanted meat. They wanted so my sister to attack a nyama to make to make to make choka na i eh eh you gali i mana to attack a nyama we want meat so how did God bring meat God made it, made the south wind blow God made the south wind to blow he caused an east wind yes from verse twenty five. 26. He caused an east wind to blow in the heavens and by his power he brought in the south wind. Next. He also rained meat on them like the dust. Feathered fowl like the sand of the seas. Next. He let them fall in the midst of their camp all around their dwellings. The birds fall, fell everywhere. Imagine una, una, una shika. Una, una jo, is it fowl? Is it? I don't know what they are called. They look like chicken, but they are not, uh, they are not domesticated. Not quail. Okay, that's a quail. It's a quail. It's a quail. Quail. They're the small ones, but they are fowl. They look like chicken. They are, they are normally dotted like this. They're black. Guinea fowl. They're called what? Uga, mganga. Nanga. Kanga. They're called kanga. Those things are sweet. Have you eaten them? The, the, the quickest way to eat that thing is to put for them this thing that makes them be drunk. There's some unga, the one you used to make uh, muratina. Huh? Busa. Eh. The busa, the busa in solid form. Eh? Busa, before it is busa, is first unga. Oh, you're aware? How? <laughs> <laughs> you seem to know this whole process. You <laughs> process where you can I measure. Busa before it is busa, it is unga, and that unga. The, the if you give it to those birds, they will eat. Is that okay? Once they eat the unga, they become high. Ziko 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 aire. Zinakuwa. So they can't run. You just go and uh, there's no because they're, they're wild birds. They fly out. Eh? But if you give them this thing, they become so airy they can't move anywhere. You just go and peek. But the Lord Bible says the Lord caused these things to come and just settle down. So the children of Israel didn't go to hunt. They just collected chicken, took home. So here. But the Lord had released two winds: the east wind and the south wind. God released East Wind because he was annoyed because the children of Israel said we are tired of manna. Manna denotes the word of God. You know that? 
Manna is the word. The manna is the body of Jesus. Jesus said, the bread that they ate in the desert, desert, that was me. That's why the Holy Communion is manna. Is that okay? But the body of Jesus is the word of God. The word became flesh. The flesh of Jesus is the word of God. Are you listening? So in other words, the Israel was saying, we are tired of this word. We want flesh. We want to be choking on spirit. To attack her? Flesh. So God got angry. So God gave them flesh to eat. Eh? But he also released east. East wind is for what? For judgment. Is that okay? So the Bible says, as they were eating this flesh, it started coming out of their nose. So the south wind brought provision, but the east wind brought judgment. So they got both at once. They received the provision they wanted, but it came with judgment. You will receive your own without judgment. In Jesus' precious name. Your own is not coming with judgment. In Jesus' name. So God releases south wind normally with, in combination with another wind. Like you see in the book of uh, Song of Solomon, chapter 4, verse 16, it says, Awake, north wind, and come, south wind. Blow on my garden, that its fragrance may be spread everywhere. So number two, south wind brings fame. Fame, favor, fame. So when south wind is in operation, whatever you're doing will be known everywhere. It will be blown everywhere. It will be seen everywhere. It will be noised abroad. In Jesus name. It will be noised abroad. In Jesus name. 